Hey guys, Zach here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Thule Wing Bar Evo style raised rail roof rack system on our 2016 Volvo XC90. I have the black bars installed today, but it's also available in silver if you wanted to match the raised rails. This is going to be a really nice, good roof rack system if you're looking to get some accessories on top of your roof, whether that's a bike rack, a cargo box, or maybe a kayak carrier. Thule does a really good job of doing testing and getting really good engineering to make sure that this works really nice and also has a really nice aerodynamic shape because when you add something to your roof, you're going to get wind noise, you're going to get drag, and they do their best to try to eliminate that as much as possible. Now, regardless of what you put up here, no matter how aerodynamic it is, you're gonna hear it. But when we've driven around with these bars before, we don't notice it over the radio. We don't get the whistling sound that the older style bars used to have. And that's because they have this really nice aerodynamic shape and they've done a good job of making these feet as aerodynamic as possible as well. The feet are gonna be constructed of a really nice hard plastic. So they're gonna hold up for a long life. And the bars are gonna be constructed of a really nice aluminum and they have a really nice finish on them. So they're gonna hold up against rust and corrosion. Now, if you're carrying T-Track accessories, the older style bars, they had this weather strip that you'd have to pull out and cut. And this one is a nice upgrade because you don't have to pull anything in out or cut it. It just feeds down in there and you can put your accessory in. And if you're not, it's just filled up. So it cuts down on that channel, picking up that wind noise. So this is a really nice feature that they've added to this bar. Something I would consider upgrading is the lock cores. They include these little plastic knockouts that you have to take a screwdriver to get these caps locked and unlocked. It's not the worst thing in the world, and that's how you'd access to tighten them to take them off. But if it's something you're concerned about, you can easily pick up a Thule lock core system and replace those so everything's key to like to your accessories as well. It has a 220 pound weight capacity. That's a pretty significant amount of weight, uh, but definitely double check your owner's manual to see if your weight can withstand that amount of weight and go with whatever the lowest is, whether it's your roof, the roof rack, or your accessory. And I have the 53 inch bars on here. You can go a little bit further out. I wouldn't get any further than your uh, side mirrors here. That's the benefit of this style is you can kind of add some longer ones. The longer you get, the more stuff you can get up there, but then you run the risk of hitting your head, getting in and out of your vehicle. But I think the 53 inch looks really good with this car. So you can see this is still gonna work out with our sunroof opened up. And I'm gonna give you a measurement there just to give you a better idea as to the clearance you have on that. And that is just shy of two and a half inches. So that's definitely something to keep in mind if you have a clamp on your accessory that goes a little bit further down than that, that you don't wanna do your sunroof if that's an issue. I'm gonna close this up and then I'll give you a measurement to show you how much this is gonna to add to your roof as well. That is about four and a quarter inches. So not super tall. That's due to the nice low profile design of this foot pack. I think overall, this is a really nice setup. Thule does a really good job of making all of their products really high quality. I think that they're really quiet when it comes to roof racks. And this style is super easy to install. So let's just show you how we got them put on. So I already have the front bar installed and the second one's going to install the same way. I went ahead and put one of the feet on and this one's gonna go on the same exact way. And you'll just flip it upside down and slide it into this slot right here. Just fit that groove into there. And then what we'll do once we get that there, I like to just put our end cap on. And if you have any problems where this maybe doesn't slide very easily, you can pull, squeeze that a little bit, and then you can move it around. Mine's fairly loose, so I didn't have an issue with it with this one. But then we can Get this right here, there's a bolt right there. I'm gonna spin that out, get that expanded out a little bit more, and we can get this raised up and lay, place this onto our rails. Now we're gonna gently lay this onto our rails. If you have somebody that can help you, it's a good idea to help them guide it on there, but this one's not too bad. So we're just gonna set this on there, and we'll just get this set on top of our bars, and then we can space it out with our front bar. Now there's no set measurement of getting these together, but I'm gonna keep mine at about 30 inches. You do wanna make sure that you're keeping it at least 
more than 24 and a half though but it all depends on the accessory that you're mounting to your roof so then we'll go to the other side and we'll check that one as well one thing to keep in mind is on this XC90, they do have these support beams in the middle too. So that kind of creates some interference with getting this on here, but that's the benefit of the raised rail style is you can kind of shift this around to fit your needs. I like to have mine a little bit further back. You can see it kind of starts to slant down. You can have it mounted there, but I just prefer mine to have it a little bit further back. But once we get that even on our spacing, we need to get our crossbar overhang to be even so the bar sitting even this way. Then once we get that set, we can come back and start tightening with the included tool. You don't wanna over tighten it on one side because you don't want it to pull too far to one side. So we're just gonna go back and forth and kind of tighten it down evenly as best as possible. And then after we start to get it closer, the great thing about this tool is it has an included mechanism in there. And once you hear that clicking, you know that you've got it torqued down just fine and you don't want to go any tighter than that. So we can just do the same thing on the other side. Then once we get that all tightened down, we can put in our end cap there, get that to its locking position. Then when we get all of our caps put on, we're good to go and start loading up our accessories. But that's going to do it for a look at the Thule Wing Bar Evo Raised Rail Style Roof Rack System on our 2016 Volvo XC90.